look how cute I am hi everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Kimberly if you're new here and uh, I just post about my art journey so today we're gonna be talking about shop update number four I finally decided to launch a couple of new stickers and um instead of it being like this whole big ordeal which is kind of what i did for the last time i don't know if you guys saw my video but if you did then if you want like some really if you want like some really real insight into what it's like to update a shop um then you should check out my other studio vlog it's uh i think it was like i gave myself two weeks to make six brand new sticker sheets and oh my god i was so I was so hard working back then. Now I'm giving myself one week to update my shop with four new sticker sheets. But two of the sticker sheets I've kind of already started and worked on a little bit. If you've been following me on Instagram, then you've probably seen them. I've made like fruit tutorials, so I'm going to do, um, I think, two fruit sticker sheets. I kind of want to share with you guys a little bit, like a little snippet of my timeline for the shop update. So here you go. So this is, uh, I always do this, like I have so many like exhaustive lists. I think that it helps me when I write exhaustive lists, not just like a list, a regular list, but like an exhaustive list. Okay, so uh, an exhaustive list of things to do. Draw and finalize all four sticker sheets, print and test them out, take product photography, film the process for studio vlog, which is what I'm doing right now, consider taking clips for TikTok as well, create a listing on Etsy, and then marketing on social media. I went through the list and said, okay, what is like 100% vital? What needs to happen? I need to draw, I need to take product photography, and I need to create the listing on Etsy. I don't need to print and test out if I really, really didn't want to. I don't need to film this process. I don't need to do any TikTok stuff, and I don't need to do any marketing on social media. Those are all like nice to haves, but the core things that I need to do are these three. So I just wanted to highlight those just for myself and um that's what i'll be working on so hopefully i can stick to this schedule but like honestly with schedules you never really know like if something's gonna you know work out because i know myself and i am a textbook procrastinator so i like to wait until last minute to do things because it gives me like a sense of urgency and i need that a lot even if i give myself fake deadlines like whatever anyway but i am trying to be a little bit better about that by i was going to not give myself a task today but i was like fuck let's just give myself a task also can i just say like today is such an exhausting day just like days have been really really exhausting lately and i i think i want to like hmm i don't know i think i'm gonna start taking supplements like uh I'm trying out daily vitamins because I know that I'm anemic. So I'm taking fish oil and a daily vitamin. Let's just hope that I stay accountable and that I actually take them because I really need my energy level to be like at least like right here. And it's been kind of like down here. Even though I've been productive, I just feel so exhausted. Like I drink two pots of coffee today and I don't think that coffee is helping me i don't know anyway okay i'm gonna work on stuff i'm gonna stop complaining i'm gonna try to get this done because isei is off of work today isei's not working and it's been a very long time since he's had a day off and i really miss just like hanging out and talking to him so by the way i'm in a long distance relationship so that's what it is uh, so we're going to watch sherlock holmes i got him into sherlock holmes Actually, I kind of miss you guys. I kind of like miss talking in front of the camera. So I feel like I want to like keep bringing things up to talk about. Although there is nothing really to bring up. Uh, yeah. Oh, also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but um, you can see a lot more because I lowered my desk. So instead of it being a standing desk, it is now a sitting desk. Because I sit here for hours just like doing stuff, drawing, um, working, sending out emails watching anime no i watch anime in my bed what am i kidding myself like back pains you know <laughs> like what like it's so normal for me and my friends to complain about our lower back issues and i was like dude i never would have been able to complain about this when i was like 22 i was just like fucking flexible and bendy <laughs> god <laughs> anyway <laughs> too far i'm gonna work on the shop update and then i will hopefully catch you guys later but i hope that everyone's having a good day and you are as productive as you want to be peace okay so what i'm doing right now is i am opening up the front of the strawberry sticker sheet into procreate 
and then I'm going to be creating a backing. So if you don't know how to create a backing, then I've actually made a pretty thorough video on how to do that. So make sure you check it out. It's going to be linked in the description. Yep, it'll be linked. The backing will be linked in the description. But what I do is I'll just like take another sticker sheet that I've already made. Let's see. But I can just run through it real quickly. Add, paste. Adding a new layer. And then, hmm. This one. Alright, again, remember, if you guys want a tutorial, check out that video. Alright, so we're cutting the strawberry and the watermelon sticker sheet right now. Alright, so here are the two sticker sheets that we just printed and cut. Hmm. Let's look at them. I think it's pretty good. I mean, I'm looking at the size mostly. And I think the size is decent for like a bullet journal or like a small calendar or medium sized calendar. Hmm, I like it. Until tomorrow then. We tend to promote in this culture without talking about the full diversity of what the Asian American experience is like. There was a poll that came out pretty recently that shocked many of us that um, it was an academic poll that surveyed something like 2,500 people across America that said, can you name one famous or prominent Asian American? Just You just name one, one famous Asian American. 42% of people could not name a single one. They said, I don't know. That was the most common answer, 42%.
So I'm going to be testing out two different sticker papers. This one is the clear matte from Online Labels. And then this one is the frosted matte from Sheet Labels. And I've learned that like, you don't just test it out once because I do have a video about me taking sticker paper, like me getting samples of sticker paper and then testing it out. But that being said, like at that time, I was also very new. So there are some other things that I've learned along the way. And uh, you kind of, you use that information and that knowledge when you're also, when you have, like when you have certain preferences and stuff. So uh, my preferences have definitely changed since I first started my sticker shop back in October of last year. So I just wanted to kind of do another test run because I am going to buy another bulk order of sticker sheets and I just want to see what works best for me. Alright, so this one is the online labels one and this one is the sheet labels. Something that I did notice though, and I'll show you guys later, is that the sticker paper when I was holding it, one felt flimsier than the other. So I'm going to, and I weighed it, <laughs> I weighed my sticker paper. And there was a difference, so let's talk about that later. Yeah, there's, there's, there's definitely like a, when you do the warm with them, there's a difference. Like a small, like a very slight difference. I don't know if people would notice. I don't know if people would notice, but uh, I notice. So. Okay. Let's see what it looks like. Does the color look any different? Not really. Turn this on, and it's in grams. And I can't use the same sticker sheet unless I remove this sticker because... I need to make sure it like has an even a good chance. This is online labels sticker sheet. 2.54. And this is sheet labels. 2.62. I definitely felt it. I guess an issue would be like if you're shipping and you're using stamps and you're really, really like uh, strict about your weight and you only want to use one stamp and let's say they order like six or seven sticker sheets then um, you might have to move it to two stamps I don't know I guess like that's the only downside but I am going to order the frosted clear matte from sheet labels you know my sticker paper has actually changed since like there's like three times the first time was like initial when I first started a sticker shop I didn't know anything second time was I did a review and I got samples from both online labels and sheet labels and I tested out the sticker paper and I was like oh I'm so glad that I did this third time which is today is I'm testing it out again because my standards and my I don't know my preferences have changed and they're all very different all the sticker sheets that I've been using are different so if it has been a while since you've tested out paper um, try to use yours and try to use what you have run that out and then test it again cuz I don't know you change right you change just like your sticker paper does all right anyway here it is oh here's my cute new uh, strawberry sticker sheet that I'll be launching on Tuesday which is in a few days and then my watermelon one. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do. Oh! Also, I did want to say um, a perk for being an auntie is that uh, the kids leave their cutest little, like, hairpins around and um, I get to use it. Like, look how cute I am. Look at that. And, you know the whole problem with like us like always losing our hair ties? Uh, yeah. I just, you know, if you combine both of them together, it equals one adult hair tie, kind of. So then I can just do this. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I couldn't find my freaking hair tie, per usual. But I found these little baby ones that the kids use for their little baby ponytails. Like, 
Uh, so now I have, you know, cute hair pins and hair tie. Okay, anyway, we were talking about sticker sheets. Okay. So the sticker sheets that I want to update my shop with are as follows. This strawberry one. I was gonna, like, focus. No, focus. This strawberry one. This one. So this one as well. And then this one. If you recognize this from Instagram, these are the fruits that I did like a tutorial for. So here they are all on one sticker sheet. So just an assortment of fruits. And then I have this strawberry one, which is very different than this strawberry one. The style is very different. And then um, this pineapple one, which I still need to make edits to. But this is what I drew yesterday. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. Like my style is changing and I'm finding like different shortcuts and I shouldn't feel guilty for finding shortcuts in my drawing because it just means that I'm getting better. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys can relate because that's just like how I've been feeling. Like I need to put more time into things that used to take me a long time but now that it takes me like, now that I'm quicker at it, I feel like it's not as good even though like in terms of like time and quality, one doesn't inform the other. So. I need to be better about that kind of stuff. Okay, I need to draw the kiwi slash grape stickers, redraw strawberries, redraw pineapples, fix the formatting. So that means like for these sticker sheets. Um, do product photos for each, take a photo that room, and then go to Photoshop and add for the photos. Uh so this coffee, this lukewarm coffee now. It does help. It does help a lot also i've been taking iron supplements and i think i can tell a difference no i can tell i can tell a difference in my energy levels and like one one i think the first day it was pro probably like half the iron supplements half placebo but i was just like freaking cranking shit out and i was gaudy so uh i'm just trying to see if that will if that will help me so yeah all right, got a lot of things to work on, a lot of things to fix, and um, I'm excited because tomorrow is also my anniversary. I say anniversary, but it's not like our year. We just call it an anniversary. It's the same day of the month, and uh, we're going to cook, and we're going to do all these fun things together, and I don't want to have to stress out about the sticker shop. I want to just do all of it by, I think my projected goal is 3 p.m., do all of it by 3 p.m. and then relax and cook food and watch Sherlock Holmes. So that's my goal today. Well, I guess I'm just going to put some nice overlay music on and then you guys can see me do my work. And hopefully you guys are working alongside me. <laughs> okay, bye. Days and nights never felt so much. I just can't shut up but proud you on my mind. You settle me down whenever you're around, I'm alright I've always tried to be more than I am But you focus my heart when you're holding my hand one to the final one and then um, initial one to the final one you can even tell in this one especially See the shadows on the side
versus this is what it was this morning and this is what it is a couple hours later oh, I don't even know if I want to draw a third sticker sheet right now because I am pretty exhausted from drawing and I still have to do product photos and all that kind of stuff so uh, we'll see we'll see what happens alright guys thanks for tuning in hello it's time to take product photos so here I am taking product photos Totally, not gonna lie, I had a, I thought I was recording when I like pressed publish with you guys, but I wasn't, so uh, <laughs> kind of missed it. But we published, we did it! Ah!